I first became really interested in learning Elixir whenever I heard that it was powering Discord, and then I heard it was a popular way to write scalable and concurrent code. I heard that it had some frameworks that made making APIs a lot easier, and yeah, that's about all I needed to hear. To get started, we're going to go to Elixir's official website and go to their install page. You can install Elixir by typing brew install Elixir or by following the other instructions for other operating systems. You can check that everything installed correctly by typing mix dash dash version in your terminal. Let's go ahead and start an Elixir project. All we need to do is use the multi-purpose tool called mix. We can use mix new coin underscore flip and that will create a directory containing all of our project files. The first folder you want to dive into is the lib folder. This contains most of the code that we'll ever write. If we go inside of there now, there's one file called coin underscore flip dot ex, and this is essentially where our code will begin. Instead of replacing all of this code, let's execute it and see what happens. First, we need to open up the terminal, and then we need to type iex dash capital S mix. And doing this, we'll load our mix application into an interactive Elixir shell. In the IEX shell, we can type any Elixir command we want, and it will give us the output right after. So if we type io.puts, and we place a string in parentheses, we can then press enter and see the output of that command. You can see it actually outputted to the console the string, and then it also returned a value that is blue, and that is colon OK. This colon syntax is called an atom in Elixir, and it's just an arbitrary value Let's now execute the hello world example by typing in coinflip.hello, and then we press enter. And would you look at that? We got ourselves another atom. This one is colon world. It's not very conducive to the coinflip project name, so I'm going to go back to VS Code and we're going to make some changes. First, we're going to remove everything inside of the def module, and then we'll write our own function called flip. Functions aren't too different than you might declare them in Python. We start with def, and then we name the function. We can add any parameters if we need them. And then after we put a do keyword to indicate that this is the beginning of the block. From here, let's start with a basic if statement. And then we'll check if a random value between one and two is greater than one. And if it is, we know that it's heads, otherwise we can just return tails. And to return, you'll notice that we don't use the return keyword. It's actually just the last statement inside of your block. If we then save this file and return to the terminal, we can use the same shell prompt by typing recompile, and then we can type in coinflip.flip, and we can execute our new function that we've just written. You'll notice that half the time you run this function, you'll get heads, and the other half you'll get tails. This is intended functionality, and it lays down some of the core concepts that we'll need in future videos.